Hello everyone. For this video, I'm going to continue my ancient series. How to use. For this video specifically, let's go over counters as a whole. Two weeks ago I made a poll about which is harder to do, landing counters or perfect dodging. And on the comments on that poll, I've read that some people actually think landing counters is random. Which by the way, is completely wrong. I don't even know where you guys got that impression from. This is my perspective, perfect dodges are harder to do for the majority of people because it's purely connection based. And if given a good connection, perfect dodging would be miles easier. But for counters, that is not the case. This is due to the fact that it's incredibly skill reliant. Even if you are given a very good connection, countering will not get easier. See where I am going with this? Perfect dodging gets easier if you just train your reaction time or just have a good connection. Do you know why you see high rank people just dodge an attack instead of trying to counter an opponent? Well, the answer to that is simple. It's because dodging is a much safer option compared to throwing out a punch. Anyways, for counters, even with an insanely good reaction time. Hell, even with good ping. You cannot counter an attack by simply reacting to it. You literally have to have faith in your punches and predict when your opponent is gonna attack. Everything I have said basically boils down to this. If you are really going for counters, you need you to have a very, very high sense in game knowledge and very high adaptability. Which is why even using styles that require you to counter to even deal significant amounts of damage is hard for most people to use. You literally have to precisely know when your opponent is gonna take his chance to attack. Speed is a great factor if you really want to counter a lot. But timing is definitely the biggest factor between you landing a counter or you yourself getting countered instead. And it's not even close. Landing counters require you to leave an opening for your opponent to attack, and if the opponent does go for the attack, they get nailed by your counter. It does not matter if your opponent has the faster attack. If you successfully predicted when they will throw an attack, and threw an attack first, you will hit him with a counter. So yeah, timing beats speed. Oh yeah, counters requiring you to leave an opening for your opponent to attack, is one of the reasons why counters is also very hard to do. This is due to the fact that, you are very prone to getting perfect dodged. Like, what if instead of your opponent throwing out a punch to try and attack you when you give him an opportunity to attack, which makes him vulnerable to counters, he just stays calm and waits for your attack and perfect dodges you? This is a scenario a lot of people forget to take note of. And a lot of people lose because of this. So yeah, trying to go for a counter is a gamble on the mind on its own. Which makes it insanely flippant hard to pull off. Since you need to know when your opponent decides to go aggressive and when he's secretly waiting for a perfect dodge. Now let's move on to the other segment of this video. Why counter? What's the benefit of this in the first place? What's the point of going for this gamble? It's simple really, it's for boosted damage. Landing a counter boosts the damage that your attack dealt slightly. And the counter bonus you get completely depends on the style you're using. But every style does get its attack damage boosted slightly when they land a counter regardless if they are a counter type style or not. Landing a counter also has a chance of dealing mental damage to your opponent. If you land counter after counter, your opponent might start to think that he's playing the game wrong, and starts to play worse than usual. The reward balances out the risk when landing counters, especially for counter type styles, which is a perfect way to go on to this video's next segment. Counter type styles. As you already know there are currently 4 counter type styles in the game, these are counter, hands low, bullet, and chronos. 5 if you count hawk. The general goal for counter type styles is to, you know, counter. And because of this, all of the counter type styles have lower base damage compared to the rest of the roster. But to compensate for the lower base damage, the damage multiplier they get from landing counters is boosted. By a crap ton. Which makes them dish out insane amounts of burst damage in a short amount of time if they do manage to land counters consistently. To give you an idea on how strong a counter from these guys can do to your health bar. Slugger and Iron Fist needs to land 10 to 11 M2s to knock their opponent down. But for these guys? The counter type styles? They just need to land 7 to 8 counter M2s. It really gives you an idea as to how strong a counter M2 really is. Just landing one of these can easily turn the tide of the game around. All four of these counter type styles are not really that different, because they follow the same win condition. Land counters. Some do have an edge compared to others, but from what I have observed, 
Each one is good on their own special way. Counter is a very good all-rounder counter style, and is the safest pick out of all the counter type styles. Despite its low damage, you can still do pretty alright damage without even landing counters. I would go with counter if you are just starting out with learning counters. Hands low is a great example of a ride or die style. Because this style has the highest counter multiplier out of every counter style in the game. If you get hit with hands low's counters, it's gonna lead into you on the floor in seconds. But it you also manage to counter the hands low he also falls on the floor as fast as you. So basically, hands low dies as quick as he deals damage. This is because he also takes extra counter damage. Him having basically no power on his punches also makes him a purely counter focused style. And unlike counter who does do a good job balancing it out. Hands low can not deal damage without landing counters. So yeah, I would pick hands low if you are very confident in your countering skills. Bullet is probably what I consider to be the weakest out of all the styles mentioned here. This is due to the fact that Bullet has very low base damage, which mean he does zero damage if he does not land his counter M2. He has trouble even trying to block break at all with his M1s being that weak. His passive also does not work most of the time, and his dashes are worse compared to the rest of the roster. Making him just a weaker counter. But I will give him credit. He does a do lot of counter damage if he does land his counter hit M2. Hands low can deal pretty similar amounts of damage as Bullet's counter M2 does, but Bullet has the luxury of not worrying about getting himself get countered and dying fast. Unlike Hands low, I would say use Bullet. If you are bored. And lastly Kronos. If we are looking at Kronos as a counter style, this style is not up there. This is due to his counters dealing worse damage compared to the rest of the counter type styles mentioned. But, Kronos does have focus mode. Which can deal a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Making him not really rely on counters that much. Overall, I would use Kronos if you want to use counters to fill up focus mode. So that you can deal big damage on a short amount of time without relying on counters. Before this video ends, here are some tips for counter type styles. Tip number 1. Abuse the hell out of feints. Feints hard carry counter type styles right now, because for most cases, it leads into free counters. Just don't be too obvious about using them. Opponents can and will perfect dodge your feint. Tip number 2. Use emotes and your block to bait or taunt your opponent into attacking you. This will feed yourself with counters served in a silver plate. Trust me, this works like a charm. Just do not be too obvious about it. If you emote or block, and do an attack, you still win the interaction. Regardless of the action they did. The only way they can avoid this is by perfect dodging or by just not attacking you in the first place. Or if you guess wrong and you get outsped. And yeah that's about it, I feel like I can expand on this more. But that's basically the general gist of counter type styles. Comment down below if you have some tips so that some people can also use it. Anyways, that's it for me. See you guys on the next one. Peace.